Um, so let's, let's head, head over to the portal and let's talk about programming. So um, we've done a write-ups, uh, we've done a write-ups here. As, as you can see, we, we posted some images up here. Uh, so behind the scenes, we had a program in place right, to, to do these activities. So how was that done? Um, let me, before I do that, let's go back to the app quickly. So programming, as a staff member, I can see my program here. So curriculum program, Zebra Room program, exactly, uh, Monday through to Friday, exactly what we're teaching the kids. So today's Wednesday, I've done this, I can tick these items off here. I tick these off here, it records that we've completed these activities right here. It's not so much about ticking off every single item, it's more so you guys tracking what has been done and what hasn't been. So at the end of the week, when you're reviewing your program, you know what's working, maybe you've, you've um, allocated too much too much task um, to, uh, for that particular week or whatever the case might be, you can reflect on that um, and, and you can reflect on that and obviously you can, you can plan your program a lot better next week as well. So that's what it's more about rather than ticking off every single item. At the top here, as a staff member, I can evaluate it and I can reflect on it. All right? And this is quite important, um, especially when you're, you get assessed from an assessor. You can have the best program in the world, but if, if the assessor um, comes in, What's to look at your program? What's to look at how your staff members are reflecting on it? How they're evaluating it? If you don't, see, if, they don't if you don't, if they don't see that, you're not going to win their, you're not going to win their praises. They like to see that you guys are constantly reviewing things, you know, um, seeing what's working, what's not, and improving on it. So that's a big, big, big word right there. It's improving on it. So if you if you can't document that, you're not going to win their praises because that's why a staff member is going to evaluate it. They can reflect on it inside here. As a parent, I get your program on the on the um, on the timeline, but also. I get your, your as, as you can see there, or I've got your program available via the left menu here. Tap on that, and I can see straight away, Monday through to Friday, exactly what you're teaching the kids every single day. So I know how to plan better. So let's assume you've got painting on Friday. I, know, I can see it. I know, uh, for example, um, uh, rather, than, rather than dressing Omo in a white shirt that day, I can bring him in a black shirt. I know I know you guys you know, put in a, an overall for Omar, but... You know, the paint still gets through every now and then, and, and the white shirt generally has, 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 you know, all sorts of colour paints on it. Going forward, I can make better decisions as well. As a parent, I go, yep, I love Omar doing painting, but perhaps I'll give him a black shirt that day rather than a white shirt. Little things like that make a difference. Okay? Um, at the top here, instead of having a, 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 um, a evaluation icon, I have a feedback icon. In here, I can write my feedback for your program. And this is all that documentation, it's all tracked. Just like you saw with the menus, just like you see, uh, just like you see with the parent comments, same thing here as well. I give you guys feedback. I'll do that now so I quickly show you how it all looks. I really enjoyed this this week's program. Uh, a bit of everything included. A bit of everything included. Yeah, so as a parent, I can give you guys feedback. So in here, I go submit. Now that, that feedback, goes back and ties back into your programming. So let's have a look at how the, how the programming is all tied in. Okay, so on the portal, this is where you plan out your program. I'll go click on program, I'll go view program. This is the program that I've been linking back to, Zebra Room program. Click on this. Uh, topics we'll be exploring this week, starting in the big kids room. This is the Zebra Room, Miss Jane, Miss Tom. We've done 65% of this program. Okay, so what that means is we've ticked off 65% of the activities. Again, not about ticking off every single thing. It's more so about you guys being aware of what has been done and what hasn't been. Let's assume this is Friday. I've seen we've done 65% of it. I can carry over these particular uh, activity maybe to the following week because we haven't done it. That's what it's all about rather than trying to tick off every single thing. Or I might look at this and say, yep, you know, we spent so much time on, um, on the program this week. We're, able to, we're, only, we're only able to do 65% of it. Perhaps next week we might lighten the load. Okay? And, I, and I might write that as my reflection. I might write that as my, as my evaluation as well. Down here, we said we're gonna, our goal for this week was starting the big kids room and making, making children uh, comfortable with it. Our EYLF learning outcomes that we wanted to do was children feel safe, secure, and supported because we're going to make them comfortable in the big room and so forth. But down here, any spontaneous experience. And the reason why we do this is you, your program. So you might, you might be a structured program in the sense that you, you, know, you plan things or things might be spontaneous. So a, children might, a, children, a child might have um, suggested a certain thing. You like that. You can document that here. Okay, so whether, whether it's from a parent, whether it's from a, a child, whether it's from another staff member, it's a spontaneous experience, you document that here. Because you document it here, we know why, you, you know why you're doing certain things. So this, this, you're doing this particular activity here because it came from a spontaneous experience. It all links up, you know why. So it wasn't planned, it was a spontaneous. So especially when, you, when your assessor comes in, looks at your program, they can see straight away, oh, that's why you did this, because it's a spontaneous experience. Oh, this was here, was a planned activity, so to speak. Any group experience? Family feedback. Okay, so this is this is where we, we um, pull back all your family feedback on the app. 
onto this one screen here. So what that means is you don't have to print off emails with your family feedback, or you don't have to, um, you know, you have a conversation with parents, you don't have to put in a post-it note and, and somehow transfer it back to your program. On the app, they put in your program, they, say, they go to your program, they give you guys feedback, we pull it through inside here. So here, I really enjoyed this week's program, a bit of everything included. Francesco wrote this on the 16th of January. So all, this is all documentary evidence. Okay, so you can see straight away, parents are participating or they're interacting with this program as well. They're giving you guys advice, um, they're giving you guys feedback, uh, suggestions, it's all documented in here. Any learning extension? Program evaluation, so obviously that came from here. Uh, program uh, reflection, goes inside here. The best thing we do for you is, is this part here, your linking. So at the moment, I've got 52 images and videos that I've taken on the app that links back to this program. I've got 35 posts. When I say a post, your post is a write-up. The write-up can consist of a, a, um, a portfolio um, or follow-up learning story, a generic post. If I link it back to my program, it'll, be, it'll show up inside here. So I've got 35 of them. I've got nine children involved in this program, and I've got 25 comments from parents on the app that link back to your program. So this part here, as a parent, um, if I go to this post, because it's linked back to the program, and I'll give you guys a comment, that's what that comment section is here. Down here. I can uh, uh, EYF learning outcomes. When I did the post, so as, a, as an educator, I'll quickly run through it again so you guys are not lost. So when I did that post, a write-up earlier, I went into here, I went to my write-up, and I, I put in my write-up, I selected my images, and down here, I selected 1.1, 1.2, and 1.3. That's what this is tracking. So out of all the posts that we've done, the 35 posts, we're linking back to EYLF 18 times, or 1.1, 18 times, 1.2, 26 times, 1.3, 21 times. I know we're on track, and I know uh, the reason why we're not. I know we're on track is at the top here. I said when we created the program, we're going to focus on 1.1 and 1.3. And down here, I can see our staff members are linking back to 1.1 and 1.3. So I know we're on track. If this program was based on 5.4 and 5.5, for example, and I can see all of a sudden, no, we're not linking back to any fives. I know there's something wrong. All right, so that's just a, a nice little, um, nice little uh, report straight away, so you can see your EYLS summary right there. And going forward, yeah, because we, we track NQS, Spiris, we can have that available here as well, okay? Um, down here, all your documentary evidence. Okay, so any images, any videos that you've um, put up on the app and you link it back to your program, we pull this through for you automatically. So in here, I can see these three images, the last three that I've taken on the app, and because it links back to your program, we pull this in here for you. So as you can see, you're, you're evaluating your program end of the week, this is gonna be so much, you know, this is going to be so helpful. So rather than, than having to, to uh, flick through the iPads and, or, or digital camera, find all the images that you've taken for this week, if you link it back to your program, we pull this through here. And you can see it all in one screen, nicely summarized. Okay? Uh, down here. Uh, thanks, Beth. Uh, so the summary of EYLF, fabulous. Uh, our write-up. So this is the write-up here. So these three images we uploaded coincides with these three images up here. Uh, Omar Jerome Hudson really enjoyed today's activity. There's a spelling mistake. I'll show you how to edit that in a second. Miss Jane wrote this, 2.15. I've got one comment, one like. I can see the children that were tagged. I can see the achievements, uh, EYLF, NQS, viewers, developmental milestones, kindergarten outcomes, or whatever the case might be that we link back to. Uh, I can see who's viewed it as well. So Miss Jane's viewed this, Francesco has viewed this, and Miss Danielle has viewed this post as well. So we track that here. As you can see, who's viewed it, you can see at any time, you know, dad, mum, teachers, you can see it available here as well, okay? Down here, I scroll through 35 of these posts, and again, I love this dummy, uh, dummy post. Uh, comments, so I, I wrote this earlier. Omar really enjoyed today's book, uh, uh, book reading activity. Francesco wrote this at 2.17 p.m. Obviously, I'm based in Sydney, it's 2.17, or it was 2.17. Um, Timestamps logged here as well, okay? So these are all our 25 comments. So as you can see, it makes your job a lot easier when you're reviewing your program, it's all there in one spot. From an assessor's point of view, Rather than handing them over a program out here, Cesar, this is a program for last week. This was all the images that we take in. These are some of the videos. These are some emails from, from, um, from parents with feedback and so forth. It's all done nicely on one screen here. So it makes their jobs a lot easier. Click through that, it all links up nicely.